after tomorrow after school. Ooh, a porcupine. Mr. Porcupine is just as much our neighbor as all the other forest creatures. I guess so, but all those stickers make me nervous. Not stickers, quills. Look at it this way. He'd be a good person to have on your side if you were in trouble. I guess so. He can shoot those quills out like little spears. Ping, ping, ping. Shooting their quills indeed. Wherever did you hear that? Oh, everybody knows that. Well, a lot of things that everybody knows just aren't true. It's simply not true that porcupines shoot the quills. Just you remember, it takes all kinds of creatures to make a forest, and we must take folks as they come. I guess so. Ready to go home, sister? That'll do it for the day. Thanks for helping. It was fun. Bye, Teacher Jane. See you tomorrow. Straight Arrow Nerd Brother Bear walking his sister home. I wouldn't be caught dead walking my sister home. But you don't have a sister. Yeah! Besides, you're just jealous because you got kicked off the soccer team for missing practice. You watch your mouth! What are you trying to do? What you say? Watch my mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, look at that. Making friends with the little creatures. Watch this, we're gonna have a little fun. All we need is a few acorns. <laughs> hey, what the? Hey, brother. Hey there, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you doing this? All right, you guys. Don't waste your time on these creeps, brother. What are you doing, sister? I had them right where I wanted them. Ha! Go tell it to the butterflies! <laughs> Come on now. They're twice as big as you, and there's a whole gang of them. Teacher Jane says it takes all kinds of creatures to make a forest. Maybe so, but I could certainly do without that too tall. Well, he's one creature I wouldn't put on our good neighbor's chart. Hey, speaking of neighbors, look, the woodchucks, they're moving out. And their house is for sale. Sorry to be losing you, Mr. Chuck. I appreciate that, Mrs. Bear, but you see, we got a very good buy on a lovely split-level burrow in that new development to the other side of the forest. Bye! Bye. Take care now. Good luck! See you. I wonder who our new neighbors will be. Some beavers are looking at the empty burrow. Beavers? What about beavers? I mean, for neighbors, that is. Yeah, terrific. You couldn't ask for better neighbors, son. Nice, quiet, hard-working folk. Excellent engineers. Expert dam builders. I'd have somebody to discuss engineering with. The fine points of stretches and strains. Gee, Papa, we didn't know you were an expert engineer. Did you, Mama? Well, I knew about the stresses and strains, but I didn't know about the engineering. Look at those tails! I'll bet he's great at paddle ball. Seems well built. I suppose. Hi. Hiya. Hiya. Nice neighborhood. I suppose. You just stop that nibbling. Explore your dinner. Well, Pa, what do you think? Won't do. Too far for water, and I hate a long commute. Come, children, your pa has spoke. Bye! Oh, boy! Bunnies! Yeah, they'll be great neighbors. Fun to play with. Where's my jump rope? Hi! 
It's a lovely little burrow. <sighs> yes, but uh, much too small for a growing family. Yep, <laughs> seven young'uns, more on the way. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right, group, forward, hop! Gee, it would have been nice to have bunnies for neighbors. Fine family folk. Backbone of the population explosion. Gee, I guess nobody will move into it now. Yeah, it's really a mess. Uh-oh. Better hurry. It's going to be a real downpour. I guess that does it for the old burrow. It's a good thing nobody moved in. No, nobody ever will. hammering a sold sign on the empty burrow. And that somebody is a skunk. A skunk for a neighbor? Ugh, pee you. Now everybody calm down. But Mama, what do we do? What we will do is greet Mr. Skunk as we would any other new neighbor. We'll take him a welcoming gift of food. But my best honey, why not some broccoli or some of your lovely okra preserves? We'll introduce ourselves and help in any way we can. Hello, Mr. Skunk. Oh, well, hello there. You must be my new neighbors. Why, thank you. Honey is my favorite. I could use something sweet in my life about now. I bought this place as a kind of... Handy Skunk Special, in the, the as-is condition. <laughs> well, I didn't figure on that storm. Well, it's about the most as-is place I've ever seen. Don't you worry. We'll have this place ship shape in two shakes of a, <laughs> a skunk's tail. <laughs> Your papa is so strong. Of course, I have a pretty strong reputation myself. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. You've been a tremendous help. Not at all, Mr. Skunk. Helping is what good neighbors are for. Thank you, neighbor. You're welcome, neighbor. Anytime. Come on, sister. We better be getting off to school. Uh-oh. Bad neighbor. Dead ahead. You better get out of our way. That's right. We're going to school and we're not going to be late. Teacher's pets are allowed to be late. Teacher's pets are even allowed to come to school without any books. Too tall, Grizzly. You better give me that book bag. Or what? Or I'm going to make you. <laughs> yeah? You and who else? Him and me else. Is that so? Well, you insignificant bit of fluff! I think I'll just kick you into the next county! Oh, dear. Well, I guess I'll have to use my strength. Terrific! Thank you for your help, Mr. Skunk. <laughs> Think nothing of it. After all, helping is what good neighbors are for. Good morning, Teacher Jane. Good morning, sister. A skunk? A very good neighbor. It takes all kinds of creatures to make a forest, Miss Jane. And besides, 
He's a very good person to have on your side if there's trouble. <laughs> <laughs>